Hi, my name is Sorang. I'm a furry artist from South Korea. Um, on this video, I'm going to talk about how to draw a furry head. I personally consider there are two different styles for drawing a furry head. Um, the one is um, realistic style, which um, shares some shapes and some features with real animals, like in real life. And the other one is anime-like style. Um, the shapes and the features are simplified or emphasized. Here are examples. Um, this is my drawing. He's in the realistic style. I mean, not that realistic, but still um, more realistic than the anime style. He's sharing some features with real wolf, like, you know, the bones and the shapes are just... He's sharing those features with real animals and this is my old drawing. I drew it like a year ago and you can see it's in the um, realistic style. Like he's showing pictures with real animals. Right? Um, and this one is in anime style. This is my recentest drawing and you can see the eye is simplified in anime style and I have simplified and or, or emphasized emphasized of some of his features if you see this um, the, this one is in realist, realistic style and this one is in anime like style and as you can see, I drew the same character but in different styles, so you can see how it works. This drawing um, shares some features with real animals like its eye and the shape of the, you know, the bone, the eyebrow bone and those shapes and teeth. She has a teeth, of course, but this one on anime-like style I changed many things like her eyes, the way I drew her eyes and the way I drew her fur and the ear. I simplified many things. So um, I'm going to introduce um, and show you how to draw a head in different styles, in each styles. Um, for the realistic style, you will always need uh, photos of real animals to see um, to see the features of real animals. So, what you what you want to do is start with a circle because you know the shape is a circle basically. So start with a circle, and you can. Um, draw a cross line to decide um, where the eyes must be and where the center is and now what you are going to do is um, about this area the muzzle starts following the center line muzzle starts and around here there must be his its nose this is a basic form of a furry head for me. So now start to draw uh, ears. And when you draw ears, you should be careful because many people make mistake when they are drawing ears. Don't draw ears like this because see this? Do you see this? The ear doesn't start at here. It starts at here. It's uh, on his side, like this. So when you draw an ear in realistic way, the ear must start at here. Okay. 
like this like like this and he has a force like this right so you need to mark the force and he has an eye his eye are it looks like this right so around here I'm going to and he has an eyebrow bones you can see you can clearly see here right so around here okay and I'm going to draw the other eye and he has an eyebrow bones right and just draw really draw a force and this is basically how to draw a furry head in realistic way that's that's all it's just simple all you need to is just um get some pictures of real animal and try to imitate some features from real animals so try to imitate the features that real animal has um, with photos of real animals yeah that's what you need to do for the realistic style and maybe you can add some um, unreal stuff like big teeth or some horns if you want to because it's just a drawing it's not a photographing so you are free to um, express yourself on drawing okay so yeah this one was for the realistic way For anime-like style, there are two ways to draw an uh, anime-like style. One is start with a human head, and second one is start with a realistic head. If you want to start it with a human head, um, cross lines again, and you know you need to know how to draw a human head. Um, I'm going to show you how to draw a human head in in anime style I mean here the eye must be around here right that's why you mark the cross line and around here uh, I'm going to change the color of the line so you can clearly see it and it has a belly because because that's how human skull was designed and here's some just head right like like this and around here there must be an ear right and around here there must be nose and eye around here right like this and just add a muscle I mean the nose must be here if it was human right so around here just add the muscle you can add a nose here like this and you remove his ear the human ear and add some furs around here like whatever you want and here must be an ear and ear fur I always put ear uh, ear fur in the ear because it looks cute and for the eye um, if it was in realistic way the eye must be like this or I don't know like like this or something if it was a uh, human eye, the realistic eye must be like like this or something, right? But it's in anime style, so you need to simply find the eye. 
the easiest way is just this just drawing like this right it's the easiest way like when you write six or nine it's just like this so um uh this is how this is how I draw eyes for Paris. Yeah, this is how I draw eyes. Okay. This. Um the reason why it has a thick a thick line on the top and the side, when you see the human eye as a side view, it looks like this, right? And the sun must be around here. It means there must be a shadow at this area, right? Because it, the eyeball is covered by skin. So here's a sh um, shadow, and here's a eyelash. So the shadows. See, this area is dark. And this area is lighter than this area, right? That's why these areas are darker than this area. So that's why the lines are thicker at the top than at the bottom. And that's also why the eyeball the top of eyeball is darker than the bottom of the eyeball. Okay, this eye must be smaller than this eye because this eye is closer to us and it is being shown um, more area. So this eye must be smaller and um, the widest must be smaller I mean the narrow it must be narrower than this eye like this like this and if you want to start it with realistic way just you know just draw a realistic um, animal head maybe I don't know like like this maybe something like something like this like this and you just cut off the muzzle a little bit or maybe not it's up to you and you know change uh, eye to anime like style like I showed you on this one and emphasize some features that you want to emphasize like maybe he's smiling like this and maybe he has a um, mustache and earphone uh, maybe and whatever you want okay. but if you have any questions just feel free to ask me and I will try my best to help you and yeah um yeah thanks for watching the video again and um see you later maybe on the next video <laughs> bye bye